everybody my name is Sandra welcome back to my channel I'm so glad you could join me today I feel like I'm really missing sorry my my kids my son is at school my daughter is in the kitchen with my husband and my son is behind me and I'm hoping he stays sleeping for the duration of this video so we'll see how how it goes um, but I'm really looking forward to planning this week I feel like um, you know last week if you guys watched that one I'll show you my uh, my weekly setup I, I just it's not that I didn't feel like planning, but I was so like kind of blah about it that I just wrote everything out and I didn't decorate. And now I'm feeling like I want to get back into my decorating. I want to like make my planner pretty. And speaking of making my planner pretty, a couple of things. Um, this is from the Honeybee Shop. It says Weapon of Choice, which I thought was so cute. Um, hopefully you can see all the sparkles. Yeah, I tried to have as much light here as possible, but I have my one kitchen light turned off because I'm trying to keep my son from waking up. I don't want it to be too bright in here for him. So yeah, so I stuck that in there because I thought that was absolutely adorable and the blues and pinks kind of go with the planner. So um, also, I I don't know why I started looking for stickers to decorate my planner and then I remembered that I had all of my planner's anonymous stickers. And so this is under the stars. This is one of the kits from, I think, was it last year? I think, maybe the year before. But anyway, so I brought them out and then I got all like oh my gosh I want to get my planner's anonymous kit again so I was looking online and there's this one month I don't know if they're gonna have like if they sold out or not I have no idea it was for November it was called into the wild and it was so beautiful you guys like I want that kit so bad so if they get the stickers online or if they get the subscription box I might pick that one up but the one they have right now that closes in 10 days it's something about um flowers and it's kind of like orange and it's like a one that they kind of remade from previous years and I'm not really into that as much it's like more orange red and yellow I am going to hold off for now um before if I think about subscribing again so I was kind of thinking like I really I really love cloth and paper but because um I recently went through all of my stash um, of cloth and paper stuff and a few simply gilded things. I'm thinking of canceling both of those memberships just because I have so much stuff I never used and like really I'm only in it for the dashboards which if that's the case I might as well just buy the dashboards on their own. I think that makes more sense instead of wasting like $80 every month. So I might cancel those. I was kind of looking at Jane's agenda but again there's so many things from the subscription kits each month that I don't really think I would use, right? And what's the point of buying stuff if you're just going to not use it and like getting all this stuff that you might, that you're like, eh, it's all right, but what am I gonna do with it? So right now I've compiled a whole bunch of stuff, mostly like sticky notes and some like, I don't know, not really washi tape, I haven't gone through that yet. Um, I think I might do a separate washi tape one, but I'm like, I have a lot of stuff, you guys. I'm going to be doing a midwinter giveaway. Um, this is kind of like, I guess, an announcement for the giveaway, but I haven't actually done the video yet. So I will be doing a video um, for the stationary stuff. The majority of that is cloth and paper and simply gilded. And then I'm going to be doing a separate washi tape giveaway, I think. I think I will because I just have so much and like... Yeah, I don't know. I might, if Simply Gilded still has the washi only subscription, I can't remember if she does that still. If she does, I might just go down to that because the thing I don't like about the Simply Gilded stickers is that I prefer my black gel ink Pentel pen and it doesn't write on permanent stickers. Whereas Planners Anonymous stickers are paper for the most part. Um, and like in the sticker books that they now have, because these these were like before the sticker books started getting made, um, they have a lot of the same stickers. So they're thicker quality stickers, but they have a lot of paper ones. There are some decorative ones that are on like the white shiny paper or clear shiny paper. So those ones you can't write on top of, but generally when they make a sticker that you can write on, they make it with the paper, if that makes sense. Um, they're pretty smart about that. So yeah, I was thinking like, I'm going to wait to see what's after the, this subscription kit and then maybe resubscribe with Planners Anonymous again, because I really miss the artwork. I miss the stickers. I want to get back into decorating again. 
And then the other thing, I'm getting so excited. So while I love this binder, and this sticker kit is going to go perfect with this binder for the week, um, I'm really excited for for February setup, you guys. I'm I've got all these ideas in my head. I really need to downsize because like my binder is so thick right now. Like I can't even keep all of this in here. I've got 1.5 inch rings and my binder feels like it's about to pop open and explode. And I don't want to ruin my binders, but I feel like I need all of this stuff. And I know I was talking about um, keeping my work stuff together, but if you guys watch, so this video is posting Saturday. If you watched my video on Friday, which for me is today because I'm filming this Friday, I would have talked about my like business planner so I was like interchangeably using my iPad which had a Claudia Joseph digital planner on there and my cloth and paper coiled notebook planner that I got at the end of like 2022. The thing with that is that it's kind of like a place for me to like not scribble and cross out but it's more of my like I don't know ideas planner so if I do make a mess in there it's not a big deal and then in here I have a whole setup for my business. So I've got schedule stats, income brainstorm blog and notes. And here, um, my schedule looks like this because I use the um, fancy plans co inserts, right? So this is kind of where I want to start referencing everything. And to be honest, I found that I, I'm not really referencing this as much. I'm use, actually using the other one more. So I would like to get back into this. And I bought a whole year's worth of inserts. And you can't cut them down for um, compact because I'm like, oh, well, maybe I could go back to my Planners Anonymous B6. Or maybe I could use my Franklin Covey Compact or something for my business. Um, because this is just getting so big. Um, it makes more sense for me to use a separate binder for my business planner because I just I have so much in it right um there's so much and then this binder is just like so big so it's still something I'm thinking about I know like I talked about having everything in one binder it's just I just don't know if I can do it like my poor binder right and my pages are getting all bent so I'm still kind of thinking about it seeing what I want to do um and yeah just kind of going from there it just makes sense like if I was to have um, a portable planner, something I could take with me if I ever leave the house for appointments and stuff, I would take a smaller binder or a smaller planner. But when, I don't know, I, I, I'm just kind of like, I want to pull back, I want to pull my Under the Stars Melody back out and just like look at it and see how cute it was. It was so cute, you guys. Um, and I love that little planner. Like it was adorable. It just, when I was pregnant, I felt so nauseous when I first set that up and I was using it. I just couldn't look at it anymore. It like made me sick to my stomach, which is so bad. But um, I don't know. We'll see. I don't know what I want to do yet. Um, if you guys have any suggestions, I know, <laughs> Christine, you're probably going to watch this and you're like, yep, I want to see how it works out for you using one binder for everything. Why can I not make up my mind about this, right? Like, I thought I had it good. I'm like, yep, one binder. We're good. But I still, I don't know, guys. I just, I like the one binder. It makes everything less complicated, but I need to downsize somehow. I just don't know how. And I love to add more decorative elements to my planner. I do have some more dashboards coming and some like decorative stuff that I really am excited about, but I'm out of room. I can't put more, more decorative things in here because like, these take up valuable real estate in your planner. So I don't know what to do. You guys let me know. Do you have any suggestions? Please let me know. I need to figure this out. So anyway, so let's get started planning. I know it was a long intro, um, but yeah, I'm super excited about February. Oh, I don't want to switch out my binder. I love this binder so much, but I have, I'm just, I'm excited. I love change. You guys know that. Okay, <laughs> let's go to my routine tab. So I'm going to pull out my weekly card. Let's review the goals. I think I've got, do I have another one in here? I should. I've got a whole page actually. I do have some things that I need to take care of. Um, and like again, this, I'll take these stickers out. This is um, still Friday. So I've got Friday, Saturday, Sunday where I could still do some things which I might still do. Um, I just have to, to do them. 
need to find the time. I have been kind of tackling, oops, I've been tackling things as I go. It's just been kind of like a, a work in progress, really, because um, like if I kind of go back here, this was a good day. I did lots of work here. Um, and I've been making like notes and stuff on these notes pages because I've, they've been invaluable. But I've been tackling some things, right? Like I've been trying. Not everything gets done, but um, I've definitely been trying. This was yesterday. And I just, I just have to do it. So like I've got a lot on the go for today. And I did not wake up at 5. I could barely crawl out of bed by 7.30. It was really, really rough. Okay, so let's review the goals, first of all. Um, I'm going to highlight them off. I'll use this marker here. Okay, so sleep. I have been not drinking as much water. I've been drinking, like, other stuff. Like, I've got these... Um, if you guys watched my, like, what's in my diaper bag and what's in my travel bag for the hospital, I pack these things called body armor. So they're really popular in the States. Um, they don't have as much sugar in them as like Gatorade, but they're technically a sports drink and they have 10% coconut water in there, which is good for breast milk supply. And I've been drinking those. Um, I can, it's hard to find, like they're all out of stock, but I found fruit punch that I can order in Canada. So I've been drinking fruit punch um, body armor, which it, it's actually pretty good. It's not very, it's not overly sweet. But it's really, um, really good. I find that it's really been hydrating me. So I've been trying to drink regular water as well, like trying. Um, I've been so exhausted. I've been drinking like two cups of coffee every day. And literally like he wakes me, <laughs> Logan wakes me up every hour and a half, usually. Every hour and a half, every two hours. So it's been a little rough, but um, I've been trying. I'm trying to sleep. I have slept in. And on days like today when I'm like, I need to get up at five, um, I've been giving myself a little grace and like, well, it is harder to film. Like my husband's still home until Tuesday. So it's been harder to film while my daughter's awake, but you can probably hear her iPad in the background, but she's being super good right now. But when he goes to work, I'm going to have to get back into getting up early because that's my only time to work. Like that's pretty much it. And I'm going to give myself a little bit of grace. So for my blogs, I might just go down to one a week instead of my two, um, just because I'm I'm gonna have to fit all this work in somewhere, and um, I don't want to put too much pressure on myself. Okay, so I've been getting back into journaling. I've been using my tiny Peter Popper Press. This one here, go confidently in the direction of your dreams. It is adorable. I love it. Um, I've been having a hot shower every single day. And that's just to kind of like rinse off. I mean, you know, if you're a new mom, you need that, right? So I've been doing that and I've been, that's been really, really nice. Um, reading, I've been reading every day. Um, let me show you how far I've progressed in my book. So this book here, I love it. I've gotten so into it, you guys. Like oh, when I first started these series, like the first one was with Tegan, that's the main character. I was like, eh, it's kind of like a kid's, like, you know, kind of like a teenager book. And then I started, I, I can't stop, you guys. If you like, um, and like, I've never read any any books like this before. It's about like, literally like magic and like witches and stuff. But um, this is the first book I've ever read anything like that. Like, as far as like fantasy or fiction goes. And they're so good. I can't put it down. There's five books in here. And I'm pretty sure I haven't started the second the second last book. I think there's still two left. But anyway, so yeah, it's they're so good. Oh my gosh, I cannot stop. And that's how far I am. So after this, I have to see what books come next. I'm pretty sure she has all of her books in like, you can buy them like that in like a huge collection, which I actually prefer because then you just have the one book. And then like not all these little books, you know, cluttering up your bookshelf. But um, I think there's one more, there's one more in the series. And then I think I have to go back to Outlander because um, Outlander, I think I've got two more books left before I'm done. So uh, let's see. So that's good. Um, movie night. We actually never watched a movie last week with my son. I don't think we did. Family time. I mean, we've been home like every single day. We just haven't done anything exciting. Haven't gone swimming because of course the baby, I'm a new mom. Um, 
and our swimming pools, the two that we usually go to, are both closed down for renovations right now. So that's why. Um, cleanup house, we have been gradually cleaning up. So my husband and I went through my, my daughter's toys, cleaned everything up. It was a disaster. So like, imagine guys, like, you know, Christmas morning, you've got like two kids and you overspend, you buy them lots of toys. And then there's like, my mom helped with the garbage, I guess, like the boxes and the wrapping paper were all gone. But there was like presents littered everywhere. And because we bought my daughter too much, she had like extra presents she hadn't even opened because she was so overwhelmed on Christmas day. So she had stuff in her room. There was stuff down here. I had gone through most of the older stuff, like the toys and like tried to get rid of it or tried to like put it in the basement. But it was like everywhere. There was just ugh, everything everywhere. And so when the home nurse, nurse came, they came like three times to check my son's weight. And they were literally like stepping over toys to make sure they didn't break their backs when they came in. But then the third time we had cleaned everything up. So it was so nice. And we actually moved stuff upstairs to her room, which was really good. And um, yeah, it's just, it was really nice to like clean everything up. So as for creator, I've slowly been going through my videos. Um, today is my, like Friday is my planner lineup. Sunday is going to be my review of my planners for 2022 what worked and what didn't and then I think that's pretty much for like videos like extra videos I do have two cloth and paper subscriptions coming so I don't know what happened um so I for some reason like shipping I don't know what happened with the shipping but simply gilded and cloth and paper I did not get my December stuff yet and I should have got it like two weeks ago I'm pretty sure and I haven't received it and they've already sent out the January stuff and I still haven't received the December. So um, as soon as those come in, I'll be doing videos on them. But that'll probably be next week because today is Friday. So film Monday, I did two videos then. Um, Plan with me Friday, which is now. And I did the budget um, for planner. So I've made all my appointments. A lot of them are for February. Um, notes. I've been making notes of that. Things to buy. Costco. We haven't received our Costco um, cash back coupon yet. We're waiting, but it's supposed to be sometime in January. So I'm excited for that. Um, other, um, breast pump insurance. We applied for that. We have to clean the bedding this week. So I'll transfer that to uh, my new card. Clean stroller. I did that finally yesterday and car seat into Jeep. So right now we have this like huge car seat that's convertible from like little baby to like seven years old. So I'm debating whether to put that in my Jeep or whether to just say screw, like not and not put that, like not use it at all. Because um, when my daughter was born, I had two car seats. I had two bases and two of the carrier car seats for little babies that fit in my stroller. And one of them I gave to my sister's friend because they had a baby. And now we only have one. So my husband has kept that in his car while he's home because he does all the driving because I usually just stay home with baby anyway. And as soon as he leaves, like before he leaves, he's going to transfer that to my Jeep. And so then I have it. So I think that's what we're going to do is just transfer it back and forth. It's kind of a pain, but I think until he gets bigger, I think it'll work. So um, we haven't put that in the Jeep yet, but that'll be, again, I'll transfer that to next week because he'll do that Monday or Tuesday. Um, organize, we went through the toys and I put away my old planners after I filmed my videos, but I have not gone through the filing cabinet yet. All I've been feeling I've been doing is adding tons of new stuff to it. I had to make a new file for Logan and I put in all of his, like, I've already applied for his birth certificate. I got that the other day, his healthcare card, um, just kind of like all the things, right, that you get when you have a new baby. So actually, I feel pretty good about how much I crossed off on this list, you guys. Like, that's pretty good. So um, I know I talked a lot. That This is going to be a longer video than usual, I think. So um, goals are reviewed. Now I'm going to jump to new goals. Okay, so I will just speed this part up.
All right, guys, so this seems like a lot, and it is. It's probably more than I can tackle um, when my husband's gone, but I'm going to try working on some of this stuff before he goes. So I'm just going to highlight the titles here. Okay, so... Yeah, there's going to be a lot here. So I wanted to cut my son's hair. That might happen tonight even. Um, I put all of my videos here that I want to work on. And also I need to actually, I have this like Makeup Monday. I mean to edit one because I've, I've got one left. But also also to potentially do a makeup video. So we'll see how that goes. Um, it would be really helpful if my daughter still had naps, but she doesn't. Um, I have to keep up with all my appointment dates. Check for my Costco gift card or gift certificate, whatever that is, right? Um, and then kind of figure out what I want my February setup to look like. Like I've got all these great ideas and most of the content in my planner won't change unless I decide to like change my work stuff again. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I'm so confused. Um, organizer. So filing cabinet is the main one. I want to do my makeup area, linen closet. My makeup area is a disaster. <laughs> Again, haven't cleaned up anything since before Christmas because it was like Christmas, visiting family, traveling, um, induction on the 29th, having a baby, going to NICU, like the ICU for babies, like for like four or five days and then bringing him home and then getting no sleep. So it's just been a whirlwind of activity. It's like, go, go, go. It never stops. Um, Home organization. So there's lots of stuff here that I want to take care of as well. Like lots and lots and lots of stuff. Um, and then also trim my dog and that might happen today as well. So a lot of this stuff, this is kind of stuff I want to do before my husband leaves because I, or maybe if my mom comes to watch the kids or something when my son is in school, um, because I'm not going to be able to get this stuff done with my daughter around and a baby. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. And then as like usual, if I think of other stuff, I'll add it throughout the week. Wow. Okay. So now let's review the calendar and the master tasks I have for the month. Um, I know this is kind of like backpedaling a bit, but I just want to look at the, the goals on the monthly goals here. So um, I still haven't established any monthly savings. Not a huge rush though, because my husband doesn't get paid until the last week of January. So we might start something in February just to not put pressure on ourselves. And um, our project, I haven't even thought about it. Like pretty much January is a write-off. Kind of giving myself some additional time just to like settle in. And this week is like to establish routines, but I still have extra help here. Next week is going to be the true test of whether I can survive on my own. <laughs> so we'll see. Um, Swedish death clean, not even happening at all. Um, I mean, that's not entirely true. Like I did go through my stationery, which was helpful, but um, that's like one little thing. And that's where I'm kind of giving myself grace. I'm not going to put too much pressure on myself to like get everything done. If I can tackle one little area at a time, whether it's like way less than before, that's completely fine because I'm still getting some stuff done. So Facebook buy and sell, completely not even looking at that right now. And um, date night, probably not for a while. Swimming, not for a while. Um, and then let's see here. So future board, not even thinking about that right at the moment. Filing cabinet, that's something I'll work on. Establish routine, that'll probably be coming next week. Change work schedule, get back into work. I have been doing that, so um, cross those off. New YouTube intros. I haven't done anything yet. I might just go to a simplified version. I don't know. Um, something a little bit shorter, maybe. Um, February goals. I'm going to have to start thinking about that because it is already the, the 13th today. Content. I'm going to have to write out my content calendar. And again, I'm starting to think about my, um, my Franklin February setup. Okay, goals 2020 overview. I've done that already. And we still have to FaceTime my son's grandpa. So we're going to try doing that today. I've been, I had it on my list for yesterday and the day before and the day before that. And I just, we just get so busy in the evening. Okay, so these books I haven't finished yet. And that's pretty much it there. So then uh, let's see what I have on the future log here. Oh yeah, I did this. 
I did this, I did this. <laughs> We've meal prepped quite a bit. Um, did that. The rest of the stuff I haven't really done anything with. Okay. Okay, so for next week, the only appointment that we have, it's the day before my husband leaves for work. We're going to go to Alberta Health and just get my son's weight checked. And then I have a phone call from a doctor. So she's just going to call me to check in. Um, and that's pretty much all I have next week. And that's on Monday and Tuesday. And then no appointments this upcoming week. So that'll be nice. Um, I think I'm going to... Hi, cutie. I'm going to cancel my Google Workspace because I don't want to pay for it. It's like 72 bucks. Hi, baby. It's $72, so I don't want to pay for that. So looking here, um, again, the weight check. So we just have to take him into Alberta Health, which is like really close. And um, Chad leaves for work on Tuesday. That's the phone call. I'll be doing budget Wednesday. Uh, payday is on Thursday. And then, um, again, this doesn't really have any of my work stuff on it, but we'll look at that in my work section. I get pay We get paid. We don't really get paid. This is like the last paycheck before we get paid. Um, but that's when I'll pay the bills. Garbage day on the 20th and my son has an in-school field trip. Don't ask me why. It just drives me nuts when they call it a field trip, even though it's in school. It's not even like a field trip. Um, but yeah, it drives me absolutely crazy when they call it an in-school field trip. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so again, I'll just kind of get back into work this week and see how I can manage. And then here, um, organized filing cabinet, I'll be doing some of these things like um, when I have time, whenever I find time. This one will come soon. My content calendar, I'll probably work on this week. Intros, haven't decided yet. Establish routines, that's going to definitely be next week. Um, planner lineup, I have done. And the review, I have done. I just have to um, edit that video today for Sunday. And still working on this book here. Okay. Um, for any of my tasks here, let's see if I can cross off any of these. Um, pretty much no. I did go through my stationery and my stickers and my post-its. Washi tape I haven't done yet. And for videos, let's see here. Budget calendar. I haven't set up my budget calendar, but I have to do that right away. Um, budget for the 12th I did the other day. Plan with me we're doing right now. And uh, Christmas makeup, I've got to edit that still. That one's done. Um, and I'm working on this one here. So I'm also going to add cloth and paper here. Okay, so I think I think that's it. So I'm just going to probably look at this stuff when I go through. Um, let's just quickly review my work section here too. So I'm going to go to the schedule. And then we'll have to do this. I'll have to write this out like I have been doing. I might decorate it a bit more because like this is pretty boring. <laughs> Um, okay, so let's see what I've done. So I've done this one, did that, um, posted that. Everything with a P means post. Usually I put like one of my YouTube stickers, but I was too lazy to do it. Um, budget recap, goal review, budget, planner lineup, which is today. Um, this one will be posting tomorrow, and then my planner review will be posting on Sunday. So I'll be doing something very similar. Um, I did share that one. I have not done any reels or any posts on IG. I did do a makeup post, but that was it. So I really need to start doing that. I have to start following this. I've been planning daily. I'm doing this today. And I did not do my journal, kids journals. I have been journaling. Um, but I think what I'll do is can't like take off the, the journal part of it. And um, I'll still keep an admin shop because I, I want to have that open. But I'm going to take off the journaling part, I think. Maybe I'll just put like journaling admin shop. I think that might be better because literally I only have like one row, one thing for each, each for journaling except for Mondays. And then I'll put that under here and then I'm going to have an edit for um, YouTube, even blog. I mean, I literally only have one thing on the Monday, but when I start doing my blog, what I'm going to do is... Maybe I'll switch my days, like I'll do blog on Tuesday and then stickers Wednesday. I don't know. I'm, I might think of switching some things up going forward. But yeah, I'm excited. I might do that in colored pen because this is just so like boring. <laughs> I do have the next week. I put all the weeks in here for my work schedule. But for my Teresa Collins, I think I only have... I have to find a new, a new insert because I this is the last one that I did. 
And uh, yeah, for any of these things here, I have I still have to go through all of this stuff and do that before the end of the week. Um, okay, and then today is takeout day two. Okay, so um, I'm going to go ahead and plan. Okay, so I'm just going to take out the rest of them and see if they fit in my planner. And um, I also need to put some more days for January because I'll just put the rest of those if they fit. I might have to take out the previous ones because, again, I'm running out of room. So there we go. So I'm going to start planning and um, you guys will see this under the star sticker kit and how I use it. I'm going to try to make it really, really pretty. I also have some washi tape from Simply Gilded here that I might use along with. This one goes perfectly with this kit, but then this is the new one that I got recently. That actually goes really well too. And then I have this one. I think this is like peony. I can't remember, but it's so pretty. So anyway, and it goes really pretty with my planner. So I'm going to start planning and um, I will let you guys follow along.
All right, guys, so we're all done. This is probably the most I've decorated in like over a month or two, I feel like. Um, I've never decorated my work like pages before. And this kind of like invigorates me, inspires me to like just look at this page instead of always going back to that cloth and paper um, planner. So we'll see how it goes. I ended up not using any of these washi tapes, but that's fine. Um, this one is really functional, so I felt like I didn't really have a lot of like room to use washi tape or decorative stickers. I did try to get some in there. Um, the ones I could write on kind of gave it a touch of, you know, pink and purple. So it doesn't hurt that pink and purple are my favorite colors. Um, I love, I love this. Like I'm loving it so much. So um, yeah, I kind of want to get more of these stickers. I don't know if Planners Anonymous has any more of these under the stars, but they're so beautiful and uh, definitely right up my, my alley. Okay. So again, when we went over like the all the stuff for the week. I really didn't have a whole lot. So I'm hoping that I can just kind of like get into a routine with baby and Danica, like basically just trying to juggle having a new baby at home and still doing the same things I did before, like wake my daughter up, um, make sure, you know, he, cause I just have to add in that extra like feeding times and like changing times and like cuddling time. So like it, it is very time consuming because if I'm holding my baby, I can't really do any, much of anything else. I do have a carrier that I can like do chores around the house with. Um, but you probably don't want to be like wearing a baby while you're cooking and stuff like that. So I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Um, everything that I could put on here, I'm pretty sure I got everything. I might have to move this little firefly sticker because maybe I forgot stuff. I don't know. And then I can add stuff as I go. I don't want to break them late I broke them um let me get this off of there okay I ruined my page whatever okay so I'm gonna leave that blank I put stuff here to buy in case there's something that comes up in the middle of the week and for the most part I really want to reference these pages because I feel like I have everything on here that I need if stuff comes up I will write it on here I feel like now that I'm using my work planner I feel like this is like kind of plain and I but yet if I were to add my work stuff on here then I feel like it's too busy and I can't even pay attention to what I have because there's so much so um I'll leave it like that for now I am tracking like I had my pain come back last night so that was my um gastritis pain it kind of came back and I realized I forgot to take my heartburn medication in the morning so I really want to start tracking this again because it's going to bug me if I don't so I'm going to track that and what I'm going to do is go um Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday <laughs> because um if I don't take it the pain comes back and I don't want that so everything pretty much from the compass card is on here anything new like ordering a new book because I'm almost done my books um and I kind of went into detail more on this page here okay and then careful baby and then as for my yes. work schedule I really like how I set this up too so what I did here is I was gonna leave this blank but I just put other so there were some notes I could put other slash notes maybe um, which is kind of what I did really so other notes I used a variety of color pens. I'll just talk about these quick. Um, some of these are my favorite, like, fine liners and stuff. These are Tombow Twin Tones. There's a variety of different types, um, different, not types, but colors that you can get. There's, like, a rainbow pack, a brights pack, and a pastel pack. And then these ones are the Stabilo Fine Liners, 0.88. They are a 0.4 millimeter tip. And then this is the Statler Tri Plus Fine Liner. So you can tell because it's got like the, it looks like a triangle. So um, some of those are my favorite pens. I've had some of these for like many, many, many years. And I use them all the time. Um, now, I have YouTube. And I realized because I'm not posting a Makeup Monday this Monday, that will come later on. Um, I'm going to try... I'm going to put like editing my makeup video here. I don't have any editing videos here yet because um, actually that's a lie because I'll be editing budget. Like as soon as I do that one and then this one. Um, oh yeah. What am I doing? Okay. I have to 
write this in proper. I completely forgot to write in the videos I do have. So on the Wednesday, I will film budget. And then right after I edit and post it. Okay. And then on the Friday, I film the plan with me. And I edit and post that. <laughs> and then um, also on Thursday, I'll be editing my Makeup Monday video unless I get to it sooner. Okay. Um, so that's the three things I have there. I wasn't going to put anything down because I realized looking down here, I've got my cloth and paper and my Simply Gilded sub boxes coming. Um, I've got some dashboards coming from these places and some miscellaneous stuff from the Honeybee shop. Um, so those will be unboxings. I might just do like a general like stationary haul because it's all pretty much stationary. Um, purge washi tape and giveaway videos. So I've technically not filmed my giveaway and I'm not sure when I'll be doing that. Um, maybe this weekend potentially, or maybe today. I just haven't quite decided because I haven't done the washi tape yet and the washi tape will be a separate video because I haven't even purged it yet. So yeah, so that's something and then I have to edit the video. So that's probably, I don't really have like an estimated time to edit it. Um, I could say, maybe I'll write it here, edit giveaway because I haven't even filmed it. And hopefully I'll be able to do that this weekend before this plan with me, um, you know, is ready or before I start working on this week. So I think that's lots of stuff. I really do want to start posting again to Instagram because I haven't. The last picture I posted on there was a picture of my baby. Um, blog, I'm going to start brainstorming some more ideas because I realize if I start writing again, I need more ideas. So we're going to start doing that. Um, this is just posting for the one blog on the Monday. And then I'm going to try to do all of my journaling stuff here. I'll be doing my plan with me here, plan with me weekly. And then Sundays are usually my content schedule. So um, content. And then I also need to start working on my February content. So maybe I'll do that on Saturday, Feb content schedule. And then that one will just be for the week, content week, weekly. Um, and then I also want to write down some ideas and notes for my Franklin planner set up for February. Um, just kind of talk about, you know, not talk about, but like write down notes for what I want it to look like or um, if I want to move sections. And then I also want to bring out my Under the Stars planner and see if I can make that work again. I have no idea what I'm doing yet. I, I feel so like torn. I don't know. I'm trying to think what else I wanted to do. So I've got my content schedule. I also need to start thinking about setting up my budget. Um, so maybe I'll write that here. February budget set up. Okay. And yeah, so I think that's it. So I think I've I mean, that's a lot of stuff. Like, so now if you look down on Monday, everything on Monday, I would look, that's all the stuff I would have to take care of. Um, and then these again, they might, I don't know when they'll come in. So whenever they come in, I will do like a video or maybe the Heather B. Co. dashboards will come in first. Maybe I'll hold off on those and then I'll wait till I get everything and then I'll do a video all together. Same thing with Tuesday. I would have to do everything there. Um, same thing with Wednesday. So I think that's, a good enough thing and then what I'll do as I come to those days I'll write down this stuff in my my dailies on my Franklin like planner inserts um, so I really like how that works so that's kind of the thing I don't know if I want to reference a separate planner even though it's a separate section in one planner it's just nice to have one planner that comes with me wherever I go so I don't know we'll have to see how it goes so in the interim we're gonna put everything back in my planner and I'm loving these stickers, like loving them. Okay, so here's <laughs> here's my work schedule. Loving it. 
and that's what I want to do. I've I actually ordered well, only one, but um, like a little um, unpunched. It's from Jane's Agenda, but like a little thing that says today. So I'm going to have one for my weekly here and then one for my weekly in my personal section. And I only ordered one so far. So we'll see. We'll see if I if I love it and if it fits and then maybe we'll think Mom. about getting another one. Mom. Hold on, Squishy. I'm almost done. Okay. Okay. So let's put this back in here. Literally done in one second. Okay, guys. So that is it for my plan with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the stickers and all the chatting. I knew there was a lot. Um, please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you click on that bell notification button to receive updates or notifications when I post new content. And I will see you guys next week with another video. Bye, friends.